The collaboration doesn't just help Pakistan gain cultural momentum, but help the country's ties with the Gulf. This year's show communicates strong political content, such as the border between India and Pakistan. In addition, more than 70 artists are focusing on the global south with a concern for climate change. We're now joined by this year's curator at the Lahore Biennial, Horal Kasmi. Hello, Hor, good to have you on our show today. So, I uh, look at the press material. Hello. You got identities, you got connecting cultures, political segregation, gender equality, all these things. It's, it's a really ambitious biennial. So, I want to ask you, what is the role of a biennial, you think, in a country like Pakistan, which is relatively isolated and uh, is, is involved in a long-running violent conflict? I think, um, first of all, thank you for, for having me on the show. I think the, um, a country like Pakistan has been kind of misunderstood and it was really important for me to do something there. So when I was invited to be the curator, um, I knew it was something that I really wanted to do to create these bridges. My experience of Pakistan has always been through um, Britain, through the UAE, and it was really important to go there and see for myself what this um, country is all about and especially the city of Lahore that has a really long uh, cultural history of um, Mughal, Hindu, Sikh, um, British uh, architecture etc. So I think it made complete sense for me to um, take over this role and really show the world that actually Pakistan is not as dangerous as the media tells us it is. Okay, so you, you think that it can actually play a role in terms of boosting tourism? Uh, definitely. I think it's not the, the main goal, but uh, with every um, cultural activity, tourism comes. Um, but it was really important. We had artists uh, flying in from all over the world. Um, you know, as, as a woman, um, being there, spending weeks at a time there, I have to say it's a very safe place, uh, walking down the street. So. Uh, a lot of people who were uh, nervous about flying there uh, felt very ashamed that they had these preconceived notions of what Pakistan is but, and, and the same, you know. But who did it happen a lot? I mean, were artists from the West actually worried about coming to Pakistan? Uh, not uh, a lot of the artists, but um, I mean, uh, some people, some journalists, some press, I think, maybe, maybe a few artists. I think the, the artists that I have are really very international, so it was more about um, you know, being able to come with a, with a time schedule and, and flights and things. But mm -hmm. there were, every time I went, I had questions, is it safe? I mean, that was the question I would have for the last two years, every time I would visit. And was it your first time in Pakistan uh, coming for the biennial? Yeah, so when they invited me, it was my first time. It was uh, November 2018, and I've been going back um, back and forth ever since, spending a lot of time there. Um, there's so much to do, um, and it's a, it's a young biennial, and I was a bit too ambitious. <laughs> uh, but, I, uh, but it was really important to take into the, to consideration this whole city, you know, the, the locations, the history of certain sites, for example, Pak Tea House, the place where um, writers would meet um, during the formation of Pakistan, you know, it was the place when Pakistan was formed where mm -hmm. a lot of writers would, uh, famous writers would spend time. So to bring life back into these places that were known in history. Okay, so I, come across, I came, came across a work, Amar Kanwar's film, A Season Outside. It, it addresses the political divide between Pakistan and India. So this actually prompt, prompts me um, to ask you again, what role do you think art can play in the political tensions in the region? there because I mean you're very ambitious in this biennial and I this makes me believe that you actually have uh, have some sort of uh, uh, ambition yeah I think you know everybody is always fearful of the other it's always us and them there are all these borders and walls coming up throughout the world and I think it's important to think of what unites us and what brings us together um, the Vaga border actually the border of India and Pakistan is not far from Lahore and I've been there twice um, and it's really important to see that how just one line could create such such a difference, such conflict. Um, this work was actually shown um, a long time ago by a colleague and mentor of mine, Okwi Envisor, who passed away in March. And um, for me, I discussed Lahore Biennial with him a lot, and it was his request for me to show this work by Amar. 
um, even though it was an older work. There are many works that artists have created throughout um, their lifetime that were relevant for this show. It wasn't about just commissioning new work. Mm -hmm. So it was important to have that mix of older works that have been maybe overlooked or haven't received as much attention that really makes sense in that time and place. Okay, so um, Hor, obviously there are some pitfalls of uh, showing contemporary art in a traditional society, and you are used to this. I mean, obviously uh, relaunching Sharjah Biennial in 2003. So how has it been working in Pakistan so far? I mean, people can get offended and authorities can get offended very easily, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's like that in many places. I mean, even in the West, people think there's no censorship in the West, but there is. <laughs> you know, you can't talk about Palestine, you know, for example. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of ways to um, work around an exhibition because these discussions are very important and you have to talk about them. But the idea is not to offend your public because mm -hmm. if you offend your public, you have no public in the end. So it was a lot of discussions. I don't pretend that I know everything going into a country that has its own rules and regulations. So it was very important for me to work with the team there and really listen to their concerns and try and have discussions with artists around that. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, for example, we covered um, a couple of weeks ago uh, the Karachi Biennial and the censorship issue that took place in the Karachi Biennial. The, there was a work about extrajudicial killings, which was asked by the authorities to be removed from the Biennial, which happened in the end. What did you feel when you saw that happen? I mean, did you did did it not make you fear that it could happen to you as well? No. Well, I think that the team were obviously very fearful, so they were very careful, and that's why I I wouldn't want to push in any way. I mean, there are works that we had that spoke about certain things. I had, um, you know, some um, works looking at minorities in Pakistan, like the Hazara community and um, other communities, um, but. In a way, it wasn't as um, directed, you know. It was it was more subtle. It was more um, within the framework of other other exhibits around. Um, in a way, it did it did make us extra careful, I have to say. Mm -hmm. But it didn't take away from my exhibition in the end. Yeah. So you wouldn't say that any sort of censorship took place at all. Um, no, I think at the end of the day, you, it's, is it censorship or self-censorship? You know, it's a discussion <laughs> that you have with artists, with the institution, because, you know, what, what can offend in one country might not in the other. And at the end of the day, I'm not there to break any laws or to get anybody into trouble. I'm just there to create the best exhibition that could really bring out these discussions um, through talks, through sc film screenings, um, and the exhibition itself. Okay. Well, thank you so much for, for sharing this with us. Uh, Hural Kasim, good to have you on our show today.